This track is off one of the greatest albums of all time and has been given a new lease of life thanks to a very successful TV series. It has some of the best 80s production techniques, including a huge gated reverb snare, lint drum samples, and perfectly created software synths. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do all of this by remaking Running Up That Hill in one hour. And at the end, you can download the Logic Project and Stems for free down below. Stopwatch, three to one, go. Change our BPM to 108. Y to open up the library. Guitar, tweed pick synth. Let's record in. C, G and E flat. Open the pedal board. Turn off the drive. Open the amp. Bring down that gain. Much better. Control B to bounce that MIDI into an audio file. Create a new software instrument. And here we'll use the quick sampler and drag in our audio file. And we've got our own sampler. Let's make the playback reverse and let's make it loop backwards, reverse. And we can also edit the loop region as well. Ah, that's pretty cool. And then record in the root note and it's octave higher as well. So that's two C's here. Bring down the velocity in the higher octave and bring up the velocity in the lower octave note. Much better. Add some EQ, just cutting out some of the low frequencies. Imaging, stereo spread. Lovely and thick. Isotope, vinyl. One of my favorite free plugins. Leave it on the 70s. Warp down to about 10-ish. Bring the dust down, but bring the mechanical noise up. Let's say minus five. Adding that lovely lo-fi hiss. Reverb, space designer. Large spaces, outdoor spaces. There's no hill preset, but there is a mountain echoes. It's gotta be right, right? <laughs> bring down the dry and the wet a little bit. <laughs> That's not too far off. Let's lengthen out that MIDI a little bit longer and then control B to bounce it out. That way we can mute the texture synth and we don't have to listen to that vinyl crackle all the time. It gets quite annoying. And while we're here, let's create a bus 12 and copy across that space designer onto that bus as well. EQ out some of the low frequencies in that reverb just to be safe. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. 11 minutes, 42 seconds. That took far too long, but texture is the foundation for this track, so it's great we have it done. Great, software instrument. Let's go for retro synth this time. Maybe synth pads, dark background. Oh, that sounds really good already. And those chords go like, A flat major seven, B major, C minor. Command OR to duplicate that across four times, but on the third time, select the first chord, option, click and drag it across to the fourth bar of that round of chords. Let's do a tiny bit of EQ, cut out a small amount of the low end, throw on some of the bus reverb, another bus, modulation, chorus, pad enhancer. Nice. Really thickening it out. Option C, color that blue, texture synth, darker blue. 17 minutes, 35 seconds. That was much better. Let's keep that up. Create a new software instrument. Let's go to Alchemy, one of Logic's best synths. There's lots of 70s and 80s options. Let's try 70s analog synth lead. I think we can make that work. We need longer decay and release and lots of reverb. Oh, slightly longer attack and we can slow the glide speed as well. <laughs> oh, and that unison AC sounds pretty cool. And sure, a tiny bit of tremolo as well. Let me make this view smaller so you can see what's going on. And that sync goes like B flat G C, B flat G C, B flat G, B flat C, B flat C E flat, B flat C, B flat C, G F E flat C. Nailed it. Command A to select all the notes. Q to quantize. And we can bring down the strength if we want to make it a little bit more human. Zoom in. Drag the notes a little bit late, but only a tiny, tiny amount. Option. Click and drag down so that we have lower notes hitting just before the main note. Now the synth will glide between the notes, depending on our gate speed up here. And we have wonderful glide notes. Let's put an EQ on the track, just cutting out some of the low end. Let's add the bus reverb, copied across onto the track, keep it full dry and a little bit wet, but much shorter in length. Make a bus 15, EQ out some of the lows and some of the highs. Delay, tape delay. Let's go for one over eight triplet, full wet. Really short feedback and a bit more smoothing. It's getting there on bus 30, where we have our course from before. Ha <laughs> ha! 
that's pretty good. If you want to get even closer to that original, check out Arturia's Firelight Synth or a DX7 for all the vintage 80 synth sounds. 26 minutes, 12 seconds. We need to get a move on so we can record all the vocals. Create a new software instrument, open up Alchemy, bass, 70s, classic synth bass. Bring down that delay. That'll work. And that bass goes like... and it repeats the whole way through. Command A to select the notes, cue to quantize. Because the bass is holding the C note, it causes a lovely bit of tension between itself and the dark background chords. Command or that across, option C, color it red. Shorten the bass one bar and drag the texture synth back a bar as well. Oh, that sounds so cool. 32 minutes, 50 seconds. That was much better. Nothing like a solid bass to get us back on track. Create an audio track, and I'm gonna drag in the Lin drum samples that I've picked up from the Reverb website. It's free to download, so you can do it too. We have a kick, a snare, and then two toms. <laughs> they sound amazing. Create a software instrument, open the quick sampler, and drag in our kick. And our kick goes like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Q to quantize, move your cursor to the top right hand corner and drag the MIDI across. Command D the track to duplicate it, open its sampler and drag in the snare. And our snare is on the two and the four. Two, four. We can quantize those as well and drag it across. Let's create a bus 13 with a channel EQ, cutting out a tiny bit of the lows, reverb, space designer, large spaces, plate reverbs, snare plate, and bring the wet up. So we have a reverb snare. But the really important thing, dynamics, noise gate. Bring up the threshold and move the hysteresis, which I'm pretty sure is like a knee function. It's a weird name, I've never seen it anywhere else. So without the gate, I'm with. <laughs> Super effective, very 80s. X to open up the mixer, create a new bus, data life, sausage fattener. Mixing this plugin with the original sound of the snare and kick. But without it, I'm with and mix their volumes in together. Just a cheeky bit of parallel processing. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. 38 minutes, 14 seconds. Onto my favorite drum sound. Let's use audio tracks for tom one and tom two. So command D, that audio track. So the smaller tom is on the and of one and the bigger tom is on the E of one. Hold that option and click and drag those across. One and a two and a three and a four and a. And that repeats. So that's one bar, two bar, three bar, four bar. Those toms are doubling up the bass. And there's one extra hit in bar three. Beautiful. <laughs> shift click, shift command G to create a group track. Let's throw some reverb on those snares. Let's actually change our main bus reverb to the same snare reverb. Copy the snare reverb from bus 13 to bus 12. And back to the snare, dynamics, limiter, just to control its initial transient. But well, we're getting there now. Option, click and drag those toms across. So they go the whole way through the course. And we can also throw a tiny bit of that data life sausage fattener as well. But remember to turn down the volume. The kick, toms and bass together sounds so good. They're really the power of the whole track. <laughs> That's sounding so good. I love those Lin drums. And we can color all the drums yellow. 45 minutes, 35 seconds. I'm really enjoying this one. Open the loops. I can hear some sort of rattle. We might be able to use a bit of this. Drag it in. Let's shorten it. That first beat might work. Fade it in and out and loop it the whole way across. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Command D to duplicate it. Option click and drag it down and move it half a beat later. Command T and copy the first bit across here as well. Two finger click on the pan, stereo pan, move the first one left and then move the second one right. And bring the volume way down. Shift command G those, and now we have a rattle group. <laughs> I think that sounds pretty cool. And the color, yellowy orange. Beautiful. 49 minutes, 32 seconds. That was super fast. Lovely. Great. One more audio track. I'll be right back. Now, ah, we have it. The perfect prop. Seems a bit weird, but I'm pretty sure there's a sound like that in the track. So, there, let's see if that works. 
That first bit's pretty good. So shorten it to half a bar. We can fade in the start and the end. Loop it the full way. Cut out some of the low end boominess from the room. Nicky Romero, Kickstart, which is a 10 euro plugin that adds sidechain. Perfect. Add a bit of the chorus to that and some of the reverb as well. So it sits in the same room and we can turn it way down. <laughs> it's adding some lovely high frequency energy, a sort of ceiling. Texture like this can be so impactful. Definitely try it out in your own music. Let's put that away. 54 minutes, 53 seconds. Okay, no time to lose. Our favorite part, create new audio track. I better get the lyrics up. Double Vox A. And if I only could, I'd make a deal with God. And I get him to swap our places Ooh, a bit rough, but we can make it work We can EQ out below 100 And dip down our low mids between 200 and 500 Because there'll be a big build up of low mids with lots of vocals Dynamics, compressor, and let's do that twice The first compressor is quite a high ratio on only the loudest transients And the second compressor is just doing gentle compression on all of the transients We can always do a light de as well And I get him to swap our places And let's add some of the bus reverb as well I'd make a deal with God and a tiny bit of the slapback delay as well. Be running up that building. Gorgeous. Command D, double vox B. Be running up that road. Be running up that hill. Be running up that building. Woo. <laughs> Such a cool melody line. If you want to tune that vocal, double click, turn on flex, and we can double click to tune any note we want. Uh, and we can also reduce the vibrato of any of the notes. The more you tune, the more robotic it will sound. And make a deal with God. Buzz 22. I'm going to use Sound Toys Little Alter Boy, where I can pitch up an octave of the vocal, because I'm really going to struggle singing up the octave, although it does sound very robotic. And I get him to swap our places. It'll be okay when it's gently mixing. And that's time! <laughs> Boom! Oh. <laughs> This track brings me so much joy. Not only is it a golden oldie, but it also proves that your music can always get revitalized at any stage. Even 37 years later, <laughs> it's such motivation for us all. You just never know when your songs are going to get picked up again. Shout out to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon. Really appreciate you guys. All right, will we sing the lead vocal live? Hard to be rude not to. Here we go! And if I only could, I'll make a deal with I need to work on my range. If you'd like to get more music production tips, definitely check out my remake of Left and Right by Charlie Puth. It has some really cool production techniques that I'm sure you'll find super helpful. So go on, click it. It'd be rude not to. Hope you're keeping well. <laughs> Cheers.